This is calculator question number 33 from the March 2016 SAT, which is also practice test 7 in the 2018 version of the College Board Prep Book. They give us a word problem describing points on a game, and we're told there's a total of 40 questions, and let's say x equals the number right. If he got x right, then 40 minus x is the number wrong. And his total points, 50, will equal his total points twice the number right minus the number wrong. I could solve this algebraically, and I will, but first I'll do it the easy way. Generally, on the SAT, as soon as I have an equation with only one variable, rather than doing math, it'll tire me out. It's a very long test. I'll put the left side into y1, right side in y2. I'll make sure my x window includes any plausible answers. So x max 50, and let's say y max 80, so I can see them. And then fit this in y1, this in y2, graph them, and find the intersection, which is second, and then the trace button for calculate. Choice 5 is intersect. And instead of using my cursor to go near the answer, I hit enter three times, and I get x equals 30. The x value at the point of intersection is the value of b one variable in the equation that only has one variable. So how many questions did the player answer correctly? 30. If I want to do this algebraically, I have 50 equals 2x minus 40 minus negative x is plus x. Let's add 40 to both sides. 50 plus 40 is 90 equals 2x plus x is 3x. Divide both sides by 3 and I get x equals 30. Not all that hard, but in a three and a half hour test, any time I can use AAA batteries for up to my own energy, I prefer to switch over to the calculator. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.